Jason, thank you so much for uh, joining us over here at Expect to Go and doing this thank interview, you. taking time out of your day to join us. How are you doing today? Oh, absolutely. I'm doing great. Thank you. And um, <laughs> I, I, as soon as I got your message, I leapt at this because I absolutely just love this community, especially the Harry Potter community. Definitely, uh, but but the Hogwarts legacy is it's just this whole other branch now. So an it is, yeah. So an opportunity to to chat with you and uh, you know and um, meet uh, some of the the fans um, is just great. So yeah, thank you. And I um, I teased it a little bit in regards to um, I will be talking to somebody of the game and. I, I will say members of the uh, little Hogwarts legacy community are very excited to uh, uh, just get a little bit more insight into your role into this magical game that has sold over a billion dollars uh, and wow. has like a ton of over 22 million copies sold. And wow. it's just uh, breaking records across the board. But uh, that goes to the love and hard work and dedication, not only amongst yourself, but over the people at Avalanche Software and anybody yeah. involved with the making of this magical and dream project that yeah. is Hogwarts Legacy. So uh, yeah. I wanted to say off the jump, thank you oh. uh, for helping bring that game to life. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm just a small part in a very, very mm. big and incredibly passionate and creative team of people. And we just been yeah. working around the clock for seven years to bring this oh out. Gosh, yeah. That's so, um, you know, and I, I know you've had a sneak behind uh, the, yes. uh, the curtain as well <laughs> to see and meet some of the incredible people. I mean, oh man, yeah. I, you know, it, you, it's... you always have these expectations when you work on a project, mm -hmm. but even with this being, you know, in the world of Hogwarts, I was still even just breath. My breath was, taken when when i just watched some of the gameplay and and the cutscenes, and i knew kind of what was coming <laughs> it still got you oh my god it still got yeah. you yeah and i mean i mean you touched on it like it's the people who were responsible for every little thing that we got yeah. to experience and enjoy uh, yeah. with the game and um i got to meet i did get to meet i do i want to say thank you to wb games and neverland software for allowing me a peek behind the curtain yeah during you guys process and promotion of hogwarts legacy uh but yeah it's the people and that's why i wanted to bring you up here because it's the people who just make all of this happen and so um let's get to know jason so uh yeah. first of many questions we're not gonna hold you up too many times uh but first of many questions uh who is jason Anthony. Well, for the last 10 years, or yeah, about 10 years, I've been uh, mainly Jason Anthony, the voice actor. Mm -hmm. I've worn many hats in my entertainment career. I, I started off, uh, Jason Anthony was a, um, a, a TV presenter in the UK for Playhouse Disney. What? Yep. So I, I started off uh, on camera um reading stories in playhouse disney which was a, a wonderful chapter of my life um and then i moved into doing uh live announcements for uh one of the biggest television stations in the uk um called itv and wow. then i picked up uh the stand-up comedian baton and I did stand up comedy for 10 years. No way. Yeah. Oh my yep. God. Traveled all over <laughs> Europe, all across America. Um, and wow. yeah, so it's interesting because I never, I never thought about voice acting. It was never, yeah. never on my radar. No, I was always, you know, I've done lots of things in between that. That's kind of like a, right. a slice of it. But um, yeah, and I, I remember getting a, an audition for voice acting. And I think it's just one of those things. Uh, as soon as I did it, I just thought, I love this. This is, wow, this is amazing. I mean, I, immediately. Yeah, straight away. Um, yeah. And so uh, I, I sort of tailored back on the stand up comedy and, and let the voice acting sort of take priority um, for the last sort of decade. So, yeah, that, that's where I am. Originally from the UK, uh, lived in um, uh, Los Angeles now for 16 years. Mm. Yeah, gracious. Yeah. So, are, is that where you're at now, or you're in the UK? Right yeah. Now? No, I I very proudly became a, a US citizen in, okay, uh, okay, in okay. 2015, <laughs> uh, which was uh, awesome. 
and um yeah i go back to the uk uh, a Every little bit and, and, and of course yeah. technology allows me to record stuff in the uk as well so, yeah yeah you know, yeah um so yeah i'm based oh, out man. in los angeles yeah man so I, I i assume you're out in la just for like job opportunities that's where like everything yeah. is happening yeah so. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. The, I didn't know you were a stand up comedian. I yeah. did not know that. That I might have to pick your brain about some jokes. I can uh, hopefully uh, win over with my wife. She's a tough crowd. So I might have to pick your yeah. brain about I, some jokes. First of all, never try jokes out on your partner. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'll write that down. There you go. <laughs> Okay. All right. So, uh, all right. So that's who Jason Anthony is. Uh, how did you, we got a little bit yeah. into it, voice acting, but uh, what was like the first project you got into and you were just like, okay, I, voice acting, this is it. This yeah. is what we're going to do. I transitioned from the UK. It was about 2005 and I got an opportunity with E! Entertainment to host a, a couple of their shows, uh, okay. which funny enough ended up as uh, narrating a couple of their celebrity shows. And so for that, I yeah. got lined up with a, an agency for uh, voice acting, voiceovers. And because I was working on that, they just sort of started to send me out on some voice acting jobs for animation. Wow. And the first okay. one, first one I got was uh, Lego Hero Factory. Okay, I'm familiar. Okay, okay, okay. And the cast was just, I mean, Mark Hamill was in it. Um, Tom Kenny was in it. John Schneider was in it. Uh, oh, Jennifer Coolridge was in it. Like um, um, uh, Henry Winkler. What? Henry Winkler was in it. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I the know. Fonds? <laughs> yeah, the Fonz. <laughs> and I'm like, what? are you kidding me? And this is what you, this was your first like big my one. First out the gate. Oh my god! Into into this cast, and I, it was like, oh, wow, you know, we're not worthy. <laughs> yeah, um, seriously, it was seriously. like un un you got you got the Fonz and uh, Luke oh, Skywalker oh hanging god. out with you. Like, good yes. gracious! Yeah, so that was, uh, and so that you know that aside, um, mm -hmm. I just really straight away just loved the process because here I am mm. playing this you know droid made out of lego and <laughs> you know and i thought gosh you can literally do anything you could play anything and of course over the over my career i've been a christmas tree i've been a, a sausage i've been a droplet of water <laughs> i've you know and, and we'll get on to Everything. hogwarts legacy later but you know yeah yeah <laughs> um so yeah that's what i just got hooked straight away i was like yeah oh i i like this gosh. a lot <laughs> um, Mark Hamill, um, I it, I still whenever I think about like Joker, um, oh, it's gosh. it's him. It's I love Heath Ledger's interpretation. Oh, absolutely, yes, yeah. I mean everybody. I even enjoyed uh, Joaquin Phoenix current iteration yes, right definitely. now. But yeah, Mark Hamill's animated series Joker to me is my Joker definitively. Yeah. Like he's such. I, I did not see Luke Skywalker going to the voice acting and being so convincing as the clown prince of crime. Yeah, as the Joker. Like oh that was just gosh. crazy. And so really, for you, yeah, to do that, that's crazy. Oh, I know. Crazy. I know. Uh, at one point, we had the same agent too, so I would I would cross paths wow. with Mark quite a bit. Um, wow. he'd, yeah, he'd come into the office, and you know, uh, you know I'm just. The big star wars fan so you know was yeah total try not to fanboy and just like keep it cool keep it cool I, yeah. i'm totally not cool right now <laughs> oh my <laughs> gosh nice but he's good peeps from what i hear so he's that's lovely. that's lovely. oh my gosh yeah hey jason that's crazy yeah i know you've like lived two lives already i feel dude. Like, like it yeah <laughs> yeah it is weird yeah. I, I don't know who those other people were but you right <laughs> Okay. Okay. Cool. 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 Um. So next question. Uh, going down the line. Um, what other roles? And you touched on it earlier. Might we, as fans of you, yeah, uh, might recognize you in? So you mentioned uh, your first gig. What other ones? Right. Yeah. As voice acting. Yeah. Might we recognize uh, you? More recently, I was uh, in uh, Call of Duty. I played mm -hmm. um, Otter. Who's this? Like S A S, <laughs> our ball. Uh, I hear it. Yeah, I hear that. Yeah, yep, he's yep. in there. So, 
uh that that was a good run um and we we went into Warzone and and Call of Duty Mobile and that again a great great fan base gaming yeah. community huge I mean I huge. you know until huge. you work on these cause myself not being a gamer or coming from that community but knowing mm-hmm. of these incredible franchises you have no idea of the scale of them and the reach until yes. for me until I'm I'm voicing somebody <laughs> in it and then yeah. TikTok comes along and I thought, I oh, I'll just, I'll have a play on TikTok and see what happens. And then you get this huge, uh, everybody, you know, response to these voices. And you're like, wow, people are playing it. <laughs> like, no, like it's, what's so cool about voice acting is like you become the game for us. Because mm. yes, there's a visual element with any video game and stuff, but the auditory is just as like important. Mm. And so you get accustomed when you play a game a lot like me with the Hogwarts Legacy or so many others with the Call of Duty. Yeah. You get accustomed to hearing that voice all the time. Yeah. So when you get a chance to like just reach out and possibly like interact with someone like yourself who is like always playing in your head because you play the game so much man like yeah i can see why you blew up on tiktok and instagram and everywhere else because you are the voice of so many of our favorite fandoms within the gaming industry and so like man credit to you just with these roles but nailing the roles on top of that for sure well thank you i mean that's you know that's all just down to, to to casting and people recognizing that's what we're looking for you right, know a lot of it right. you know a lot of it you feel oh i'd, I'd be right for this but you don't you don't <laughs> yeah. know the whole scope of their <laughs> right. project and their imagination and yeah. you know obviously when you do get those roles you know you you slot in exactly how you're meant to be and um same sort of happened with uh the warhammer franchise i i play techless um in warhammer who's the com- yes. complete opposite to to yeah. uh otter you know uh, yeah. he's the law master of hoeth and the most powerful <laughs> wizard and uh again sort of a wizarding theme um, it's a niche warhammer is a niche yes it is. I, i'm yeah. used to the tabletop yeah uh, like in person stuff so yeah. like yeah seeing it as a game i'm just like bro that's a niche in and of itself uh the painting the models all of that i've done all of that yeah so well the the video crazy. game side is is yeah very to me it was very intimidating because <laughs> it's on a huge scale and so you big. you pull out of the map and and mm-hmm. there are just thousands of <laughs> you know uh um elves and and uh everything rat races, race yep. and, and and oh my gosh and it's yeah. um yeah it's a totally different experience but nonetheless <laughs> incredibly popular and i'm just thrilled to be you know a small yeah, part in all of, of these um wonderful i things. know um henry cavill i think is working on a warhammer project yes so yes yeah, huge warhammer I, fan. yeah yeah he is yes. and i'm just like Jason Anthony Henry Cavill. It's like, just see you make that happen. You yeah, that I'd happen. be up for that. I love Henry Cavill. I, what a nice, what a nice down to earth guy. Like, yes. oh my gosh. Yes. Every, every interview, I you just what a you just think, God, Sweet. I'd like to meet this guy. Just to shake his mm-hmm. hand and say, God, mm-hmm. man, thank you for just being a good human, you know. Yes. And Especially Superman. in your position, <laughs> in his position, too. Yeah. Like, yeah. with his reach and everything, it's it's refreshing, for yeah, sure. it yeah. is. Shout out to Henry, if you're watching this. Shout out to Henry, <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Um, let me see. So, we talked about your past roles and how you actually essentially got into voice acting. Yeah. How did you get into all the roles you have sorting hat gladwin uh uh peeves nearly headless nick and everything else how did you land yeah the role great you did in hogwarts legacy great question this is almost like a process for a lot of projects that okay. you'll audition i auditioned initially for hello sir nicholas sir nicholas de minzy porpington right um rotten roast beef anyone so oh I auditioned for him first. Now, of course, okay, okay. you know, John Cleese laid an incredible mm-hmm. foundation for that character. Always. I, yeah, I shout did out. not want to go off in my different direction. Uh, okay. So okay. Very okay. much paying, you know. You wanted to get close in, to that. Okay. Tip in the hat. 
uh, okay. to to John Cleese, uh, but not John Cleese because <laughs> John Cleese is John Cleese, and nobody can be John Cleese. So there you go. So, um, so I auditioned for that first role, and then okay. as and this happens quite a lot, especially in video games because of the amount of characters. So I went in and recorded for that, and then they said, um, "Do you do you do other voices?" And I went, "Yes, I I do. I do, I can do other voices." And they said, "Can we?" throw another couple of characters out for you to 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 see if you can come up with them so of course the sorting hat ah mm-hmm. yes <laughs> interesting yes um so that was another one and they went oh we like that um and it sort of went it sort of snowballed from there there was a about four or five of us that had a good really big repertoire of of characters that we could okay. do um and they wanted authentic british accents because of the nature of this uh world um and so it just started to fill out and i i wasn't keeping count (laughs) i was literally you know they said we've got professor bins and what would happen is i would yeah i would audition for them along with others and Better bins, yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Well, yes he's, down. he's down there. I try not to fall asleep with this. Yes, one. exactly, <laughs> exactly. So we would, we would, get, and I think Professor Bins. I think he he's obviously in the books, but we don't know his voice necessarily. Right. right. So, so you had some freedom then. So I had a bit of freedom, and okay. Um, so just just my thought process with characters like Bins. I immediately thought of Sir Winston Churchill. Yeah. He's got the mustache like a church. Yes. <laughs> yes. And I just imagined Winston Churchill as a, you know, um, as a as a professor oh of history. Oh. And so uh that character and I, I remember when I was doing it right, I was I was sticking my belly out because I, I <laughs> thought he might be quite portly. Um <laughs> But it didn't matter. It looked weird in the booth. <laughs> but it didn't matter because it just fit the character yeah. when I when I saw him uh, fully uh, visualized. Oh, and, yeah, and yeah. So, so this is what happened over. I started six years ago recording on this project, and then just over the years, as everything sort of been the world's been fleshed out and carried because. Yeah. I think it's interesting to note that when when you start such a big project like this, you haven't got everything all lined up. Right, you, right. You are literally right. creating it as you go. Right. And so that was definitely the case uh, yeah. with all these characters. And then Peeves came along, um, <laughs> and I, I, you know, uh, I knew he'd been mentioned a lot in the books and he played a a pivotal role in the books but not in the movies so again i had this sort of free range and i i remember the director saying well you know peeves is a lovable poltergeist but everyone hates him because he just gets students into trouble so i sort of thought oh so he's kind of like this na 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 kind of right right and we knew we couldn't get too sort of shrill annoying with him but he had to mm. be annoying mm. so we worked yeah. we, we we worked a little bit with that voice to you know to get him down there and get all <laughs> oh i say oh so it was a little bit like you know an old housewife over the fence yes. oh <laughs> look at you naughty, naughty. Oh, you know. not, yo yeah, so that's when he was under the underneath uh the restricted section the restricted oh my god section with sebastian Sauer yes. and his new little friend <laughs> so he was very much just this character i had in my head of this yeah typical kid at school that's always poking and pointing and uh accusing and you know so and it and it worked because people do still hate him (laughs) bro (laughs) but i was about to say you nailed the noise thank you (laughs) (laughs) i was just like bro i'm trying to do something i'm trying to save the wizarding world yes oh my gosh so uh so yeah so that that just kept going on and i i you know eventually i was like wow 
uh, this is um, uh, amazing. I even was sort of stretching myself uh, as a, as a voice actor coming up with all the, mm. you know, mm. and and but what is such a great opportunity for somebody a, a voice actor uh, is that the amount of characters and the range of yeah. characters in this game, you know, yeah. um, goblins and you know, creatures and ghosts and poltergeists, I mean, and paintings and, yeah, oh my gosh, great point, it is, great point, it, great it's point. just, you know, so yeah. as much as we as the voice actors were thrilled to step up to the plate and, and try mm -hmm. all these different voices, I think so were the creators and the directors. They were like, oh my God, yeah. you can, what else can you do? You know, it was literally mm. those kinds of conversations. Mm. We've got this character. Can you yeah. try this? You know, so so it sounds like it was like a legit collaboration. So yeah. like they were like, "Hey, we have this in mind. Let's see your take on it." Yes, and maybe they'd like maybe help mold the character even more based off of you guys' talents with your voice. Yes, and just add even more to the character, thus bringing it to life. Definitely with the voice acting and the, I guess, 3D models and essentially, especially yes. with the uh, bends and everything. Cause like I saw now that I can't unsee Winston Churchill now with bends. Yes. Like, I see yes. him now. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely think you're right. And I think um, uh, a lot of the artwork certainly wasn't finalized a lot of yes uh, yeah. you know a lot of the the, the finished modeling wasn't finalized but that was good yeah. because i think yeah. they started to hear our voices um mm. and i think the the only voice that's fairly close to mine is uh victor rookwood you know um i was uh, going to ask yeah about victor. <laughs> yeah and i i i they described his costume to me so immediately okay, okay when they said top hat you know big, yeah yeah big top hat and this mm -hmm. long cloak coat i immediately thought gentlemen absolutely <laughs> um bro yeah yes. and, and and i immediately thought yeah this is a, a Lu lucius malfoy kind of approach yeah. oh dear oh, oh this is so beneath me it was a disdain. If there was one word that I would use throughout Victor Rookwood's uh, performance was disdain. I have no time for this. You're a child, you know. Oh. Um, and so, oh, I even uh, I even bought Victor Rookwood's wand with me. Um, no, I had uh, a, a wand maker. Windermere Wands made uh, Victor Rookwood's w wand for me. So, shout out yeah oh my gosh that is yeah, gorgeous so, I, but that was <laughs> that was a, a just a wonderful opportunity to to do a character like that because the, yeah, the villains yeah. oh you gotta love the villains <laughs> you know it's, it's so cool hearing the process mm. like you just take one detail and you kind of just run with it and stuff and yeah. i think that's a talent when it comes to your field with voice actors, because you not not only embody the person, like yeah, costumes would help if it was like live action or whatever and yeah. stuff, but you have to like methodically go through and just like, okay, what kind of person would sound like this and why? Yeah, what's his background? Did he come from royalty? You know, yeah. is he poor? Like that might dictate you know any slang or anything like that when it comes to speaking. So. That's great. I never, because I, I had the privilege of interviewing uh, Grace Rolex, who also was a part of another Harry Potter game, uh, Harry Potter Magic Awaken. Oh, yeah. And she even, like, told me, like, there's a lot you had to go through when breaking down a character and why they would sound like this. And so mm. just hearing that process is amazing. And I wish a lot of people would share that because, like, you hear the voice and you're like, man, they nailed it. But, like, the thought patterns that went into just producing that voice in and of itself was a process. Yes. So, yes. Man, that's crazy. Yeah. And, and I wish I'd have had, you know, a physical wand at the time <laughs> to record, yeah. Uh, yeah. But, but I sure had one in my hand, an imaginary one, you yeah. know? Yeah. So, yeah. and, and we, mm. we have to exercise great discipline around a microphone. So yeah, yeah. even though, uh, you know, some of the scenes, you know, we would get a bit riled up and everything. 
we mm-hmm. still have to stay so focused and on mic that we wow. don't even we can use our body but we mm. have to use it sparingly because if it makes extra sound oh in my yeah, in my audio so yeah 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 really a lot of it really is up up in your head and the you know the word association you're visualizing the character you're visualizing the scene you know you see it all mm. around which our directors do a great our directors and writers do a great job for us when we're when we're in the video uh, when we're in the booth yeah, yeah they they really paint the the scene for us and then we just sort of drop ourselves in and you know we're already wow. looking around the room thinking right you're there i'm i'm you know mm-hmm. looking to you over the back there and yeah mm. yeah mm. yeah wow did you get to do any motion uh capture yes i did yeah i did okay, okay, i okay, uh, okay. i got to do some motion capture um for some other scenes it was for the mm-hmm. um uh it was for the some of the uh, pensive uh scenes some of the cut- no way so we what? were working we were working through lockdown yeah. too so it was it was a, a very different situation had it not have been locked down i think we would have all done a lot more motion capture right right in, right, in, right. In, in the states but it was great uh it all yeah. worked out but yeah the motion capture um it's it's a i would say motion capture is a step between voice acting and on camera so mm. you are mm. on camera and you're voice acting but the props and the scenery is about yeah. as rudimentary as you can imagine it, you know <laughs> yeah. it looks like some you know uh kids garage set up <laughs> with a, yeah. a cardboard box and a, a bit of wood for a door frame but they're <laughs> only there for reference points they don't need mm-hmm. to look great we mm-hmm, had mm-hmm. we had ones but they didn't look anything like that they would just be right. stick they were just a stick <laughs> with a a uh a luminescent uh sphere on the end and that's okay it. okay that's it. um wow. so equally again you just have to stretch your imagination that bit further but the wonderful thing about doing the mocap was that we mm-hmm. were with other actors so you got to bounce and so play we off were of each in the other, okay? With with the other actors, I played uh, Bragbo. Hey, hey, wee little fella like that, you know? Um, oh my hey, god! Yeah, he makes all the goblins silver, right? Then. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why would you want to yeah. play magic like that? Yeah, so, uh, is, is so, Adora? Oh uh, yeah, with gosh. Isadora. So, yeah, uh, with Holly. So I was, you know, again, I'm I'm playing a three foot tall character, and she's five foot something. So. <laughs> Hey, yeah. Our eyes didn't eat that much, you know. We were like, right, where are you? All right. Um so Damn. yeah, so all of that you you in that situation you can really, you know, hunch yeah. hunch my shoulders over, you know, and I was mm-hmm. walking like a goblin. Or at mm-hmm. least what I thought a goblin walked like, you know. <laughs> so um yeah, so those were incredible um uh times on the mocap stage and then we all, funny enough, when we started doing uh, the wand battles, we all just okay. naturally adopted our own kind of uh, wand <laughs> movement, you know, uh, which is give somebody a wand and that's what they do. They just naturally I, hold it. It's... We all held it differently and nobody told yeah. us. Nobody... I feel like yeah. we've all been doing like what you had the opportunity to do yeah. we've all wanted to do since 1997 yeah, when the first book right. came out right <laughs> like seriously yeah. i still want to do that with lightsabers so i totally yes. get it i thought well this is an excellent second best is with i with still the have a uh old recording of my myself and my brother uh doing the duel of the fates battle scene with Aww. Obi-Wan and uh Darth Maul uh oh Very my gosh cool. I still remember doing that in the middle of the street in front of the house like at 10 o'clock at night and I'm like 10 like what I want to say 15 16 years old just uh-huh. doing it and you felt life. a legend doing it I bro I right? know right right I mean come on. I've got one outside yeah. in, in this room <laughs> I have a lightsaber and I it gives me goosebumps every time I switch it on every I'm time. like Bro, Dude, that is mine's insane. is uh, I think in the other room, and I because I got mine from Disney, I got it made and everything at nice. the shops and stuff. Oh, and fantastic! So, uh, I got the purple Mace Windu purple and everything, but uh, beautiful, 
It's Gosh, a beautiful so thing. Cool. I pinch it myself. Is. I tell you what, I pinch myself all the time doing the mocap because I, 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 you know, when people sometimes reflect and think, oh, I didn't know how good it was until, no, I knew mm. how good it was. Mm. Yeah, when I was yeah. on, on the mocap stage, and I was like, <laughs> "This is insane! This is wow! How lucky am I that we're doing this?" Like, yeah, exactly. Oh my gosh! Exactly. Was... What an opportunity, man! What yeah. an opportunity with a game that is going to define so many other Harry Potter games. Like this game has set the standard moving forward yeah. when it comes to future Harry Potter games because. Yeah just the little stuff you guys were able to do with the motion capture but essentially how it looked how it felt it yeah. felt like the wizarding world yeah it sounded like the wizarding world yeah. and so everything just seemed to fit when yeah. i played it i was like yep this makes yeah. sense he would sound like that yeah it would act like that those moving uh <laughs> yeah this is chopping wood by itself that would happen in the wizarding yep. world like yeah all of those little things it's yeah. just i mean the soundtrack uh, was nominated for for a, a grammy uh, a grammy yes chuck for chuck and his days. team just knocked it out of the park it was beautiful soundtrack and beautiful. such a great marriage between originality but also paying homage to what john yes. williams was able to yeah. do yeah. like just, yeah oh shut yeah. up <laughs> i know <laughs> yeah so i mean yeah so good it's only until you can sort of separate because there's so much it's such a sort of visual audio bombardment it's only until you separate these things you realize how beautiful obviously the visuals are but then you realize just how beautiful the soundtrack is and and how important a soundtrack is to even a game you know the games have just they're not games anymore these are experiences mm -mm. These yes are immersive experiences that are tailored to each person you know, and that's what Jason, I think I, they, that's what oh. they did the best. I think they wanted to tailor it so that you could have as much affinity with um, yeah. your avatar as possible and, mm -hmm. and have a, a wonderful Harry Potter Hogwarts experience. I think the I, I cannot tell you how often I open the game three, four times a week mostly just to listen to the game mm. um when they did the marketing and promotion of hogwarts legacy yeah and they did an asmr yes and they started out with the spring one and they eventually got to the winter once you get closer to the game's release yeah and playing it now a year later and finding myself just enjoying the ambiance of just the sounds of the birds chirping yeah. or the rustling of the wind or how it sounds when you're riding on a high wing, you yeah. know, the hippogriff and yeah. it's astral, just those little things. I find myself just relaxed and yeah. listening to it. And it, it's yeah. again, the immersion adds to it with the sound. And so um, not only just with the music, but just the sound design of the oh. entire world yeah. that they have put together is so, immaculate it's shout out to everybody oh involved i know, oh I my know. God. they are the real wizards of, <laughs> yes. of hogwarts they yes. are the real wizards i've had it explained to me and i still don't understand it <laughs> and uh you know i mean i literally i've seen it i've i've spoken with the guys and i've mm -hmm, watched the mm -hmm. different parts and i still think yeah but how do you get from there to right. there like right you know right. and and as you say make it so realistic how all the grass you know i mean i know for a fact they you know they had so much uh challenge with getting the trees to move and all the individual mm. leaves to move. i mean can you imagine the software and the programming generating all of that to, to do that and there's mm -hmm. thousands of yeah. trees and and yep. millions millions of blades of grass and Everything. And then the shadows with the yeah. change of time and yes. stuff like all the seasons. I mean, that's that's one thing. Somebody put their <laughs> hand up in the office and went, OK, we've done it. Oh, that's brilliant. So so you've done summer. Yeah, that, yeah brilliant. great. Can we have winter, fall and spring? spring and you please. can imagine their face like, yeah, OK, I'll be back in four years. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I could, I could literally talk about like this their process and stuff. Oh yeah, as a fan, like I want a documentary just about how they make it. Like it's just yes. insane. And yeah. I wanted to touch on that. Yeah. Um, 
how fun was it? Uh, again, I got I had the privilege of meeting just some of the people behind the scenes over at Avalanche Software. Yeah. Again, thank you, WV Games and uh, Avalanche for flying me out for the uh, when I hosted the gameplay showcase. Wonderful. And even they flew us out for the uh, preview event, launch event, uh, where we got a hands-on preview wow. of the game. Like, So we were one of the first ones. I was giddy. Wow. We, we went out in LA. Oh, we had a chance gosh. to even go to Universal. Everybody was so cool. Shout out to Chandler, Eric, like oh, everybody. Yeah. But, great, great. Um, yeah. What I... What I noticed during when I was uh, at Avalanche Software um, for the gameplay showcase, I found I found myself well trying to see like what I could find because I hadn't seen the game yet, right. but enjoying talking to the many people yeah. who had a hand on it and their process and what they had to do. And what I kept noticing was each person had a head down mindset of this is what i'm working on mm -hmm. and a guy like alan too who's the game director yeah. was just taking each and every one of everybody's like aspects of the game and piecing it together for a possible picture that is hogwarts legacy the game yeah and so hearing just their part and how much it like how much work they went into it but how much they enjoy it yes how was that just working with some of the people there how enjoyable was it working with cats over there at Avalanche Software? yeah they are an inc incredible bunch of people I've, I've had the honor to to visit them a couple of times um and, and meet them in person obviously i've mm -hmm. i've seen them a lot of them on zoom and right. on my you know in my headphones and stuff uh so to meet them in person and, and see their world and environment mm. surrounded by computers mm -hmm. and stuff and mm -hmm. to see all the artwork on on the walls were just this sort of yes. patchwork of inspiration <laughs> um yeah but, yeah but one thing because that that excitement just grew exponentially over the years as things as we f started to get images and 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 little segments together and people were like mm -hmm. wow you know let alone the first time we actually saw hogwarts you know right um oh but so that that excitement just grew and grew over the years um and i think everyone's it wasn't just an excitement it was a, a real passion for the fandom of this and they had a mighty task because this was not just about creating a world for uh wizarding fans and um but it had to be believable we said it in the uh, they said it in the 1890s so mm -hmm. that had a whole extra element um of of complexity too yes yeah. um and you know it had to be a good game it just had yeah. to be a good game yeah. It, neither element was was going to be enough. It couldn't be a good game, but you're letting the Wizarding yep. fans down yep. uh, because this was going to be the first time we could explore Hogsmeade, Hogwarts, you know, um, yeah. the, all the, the forests and everything around. The Scottish uh, Highlands, uh, all oh of it. Oh, my yep. God, everything. Yep. Yep. So yep. it had to tick every box. And they went yep. way, way beyond. I mean, yeah. they, the, the Easter eggs in this game. Um, wow. Oh it, my! Gosh. I mean, I got to work with Natalie Gray, who's one of the writer directors mm -hmm. uh, on the project, and she wrote all those. You know, those little scenes that you came across, wow mm -hmm. moments they were called, where they're yeah. little conversations and stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I got to voice some of those. Those those were all independently written, directed, crafted. They're not even gameplay. That's just for you to walk by <laughs> casually and go, "Oh, hang on a minute." Let's, let's be entertained for a second. Yeah, they have their own little conversations over yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I got one of my favorite ones with that was the two knights fighting, <laughs> the two suits of yes. armor. Yes. And yes. I, I remember coming in at the end of a session and they said, Oh, we've just got this little scene to do. Um, can uh, these are two knights? And I went, Okay, all right, all serious. Like, oh, yeah. And uh, they're standing to attention. I was like, Right, right. One of them's humming, and I'm like, uh, okay, right. One of them's humming, and, and then the other one gets really fed up with the humming. I'm like, okay, and then he basically beats the living daylights out of the other one, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> this is hilarious, okay. bro. So it scared you know. the mess out of me at first. I was like, what did I knock down? I know. And then what I have just I turned around, yes. and you see them like hurting. I was like, 
this is awesome. <laughs> like, I know. This one, I, it adds to the whimsy. It adds yeah. to the whimsy that is the Wizarding World. And they Little stuff like that. They didn't have to put that in. Mm-mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm-mm. It's Mm-mm. like they went above and way beyond yeah. Yeah. what they needed to do. Yeah. And they just got caught up, carried away in the best possible way <laughs> in the world, in, in making it fun and interesting. Um, and so, yeah, f- for us as well, coming in on the tail end of those ideas yeah. to, to void yeah. them, we were just like, oh, this is... This is the best they, job ever. They, you know. I, they must have had a fun job just trying to put this all together, man. I mean, obviously, yes. it was tough, hard oh, yeah. work, yes. long, t- long nights for Many. years doing, yes. working on like one aspect of the game. Yes. So, yeah. obviously, but the fan that I know some of them are, yeah, yes, you could tell, yeah, they had some inspiration and some like, hey, let's. Let's just sprinkle this in. Like, let's yes. put this in. Yeah. And like talking to Alan too, again, game director, he said he enjoyed that because sometimes he will be playing the game. He said he played the game like so many times. And I can imagine. Yes. But he said he'll go through like a part he's already been through, but then notice like a person, a dev would add something and it's just like, oh man, I like that. You know, like yeah. that pays homage to the IP, to the lore and all yeah. that. So, yes. I mean, to have a game like this made by fans yes. who are just talented, you yes. know, <laughs> at game right. development. Yes. Like, bro, I, that's what you want. That's yes. what you want in any project. So, Yes. Yeah, the oh. stakes were very, very high. Yeah. And, um, you know, they knew that coming in. And I think it's not something, you know, that you can figure out before mm. you start it's a lot mm, of it was right. figured out as as they started with the process yeah. um but the the people you know they had the right people from the beginning uh to in, in every aspect in the writing in the directing in the the you know the world creating side of it um and it and it all just and the music and everything and it all just came, came together just beautifully I, I I said this before, but shout out to everybody. I know, like, I know. Just, oh man, I'm that's... so thrilled! It it's been such a huge success. You you, yeah, you obviously hope it's going to be successful. Yeah but, yeah, but I think this has really met the bar in terms of the sacrifices uh, and mm. commitment of the people mm. uh, behind the game. I think. Yeah. I think the success has met them you know head to head yeah. and that's just and a lovely al- thing it's always good to see good people be rewarded yeah. like is that's just what it boils down to yeah. they're great talented hardworking people who care about the project and to see all of that show and then be received not only like you said by Wizarding World fans, but they had to convince gamers as well. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just like yeah I like I echo what you just did because yeah. like Billion over a billion dollars it made yeah. for WB games. I'm like, I hope everybody gets raises. <laughs> like yeah. seriously, it, yeah. it was yeah. uh, so well deserved. Yeah. Um, I'm thrilled that people are still excited about it now and still discovering the game now. You know, yeah. that's oh my gosh. You know, it's there's so much in there, and I'm just like, I'm going back right now. What my little project is is trying to find uh, the names. Cause like there's a lot of names for these some of these NPCs. So I was like, yes. okay, are they part of the uh, 28 Wizarding World families that everybody knows? So right. I'm, just like, I'm like, okay. So that's my current project. Oh, that's right fantastic. Now. I would and, know somebody who would love that you're doing that right now. Because I know somebody that sat down and said somebody's going to want to know this connection between that character and that character there. So let's yeah. and let's work yeah. out an authentic name. All of yep. this, all of this was proof. All of this was, we we had yes. to come up with names that would be used back yes. in the eighteen nineties. It wasn't just yes. right. This is you know, yep. Uh, yep. John Smith. You know, no. <laughs> <That's> it. <laughs> yeah, it was the names were per- man. That oh my good. gosh. Okay, so now that you've gone through the process and you're just seeing the success of it, I'm assuming you would, but I want to ask. Yeah. Would you come back 
to do a role for a sequel or a spinoff or something else that possibly Avalanche Software would put out in the near future or in a further down heartbeat. in the future. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yep, I, uh, my hat is already thrown in, <laughs> and the sporting hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, yeah. you know, I. Um, there's very few franchises that I've sort of grown up with um, mm. that I, mm -hmm. that I have enjoyed and and would want to be in. And That's a good point. Yeah, you know, so so this one for sure, uh, I would hope has a, a life you know beyond this yes. and yeah. i'd love to see live action i'd love to see perhaps a series i think this Bro. has opened all sorts of doors yes right? and they said it like you said in the 1890s that's like a hundred years before the events in the uh the potter books yes and so like yeah. there's enough space between Huge. harry and even when dumbledore eventually arrives at hogwarts in the mid 90s i believe or so if i remember correctly so yeah um 1890s to be specific so yes. um it's it, it's a lot of room to just create your own like protagonists and yeah go from there and I it's know. really our story so yeah why not see that in a live action tv series if the harry potter tv series is successful i yeah. hope it allows for more uh storytelling within this amazing world so for sure yeah, yeah. august yeah. legacy tv series make it happen w yeah. please make it happen hey, please I've, <laughs> I've already got my wand i can save you on the budget look <laughs> I've only, got already one. Here. I've only got one. I've only got one. I hope they make. I hope they make uh, some wands that people can buy. Oh, same from Hogwarts here. Legacy. I, I hope it. they and, do that. And my demo guys. That I, is, I, whoa! I'm, I'm already bringing it into the real world. <laughs> you already Look got the props. It is amazing. I'm the assuming demigize. a fan made that for you. Yeah, no, oh a guy makes them. Um, he makes them on Etsy, and I'm not going to pick it up much more because it terrifies me. But um, yeah, he makes them on Etsy. So go on Etsy and have a look. Um, go check it out. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll be sure to get the names and I'll link them in the description of the video yeah. if you're interested. So, what, so I'm I'm slowly bringing the game into the real world. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's nice to talk to you, Gladwin. You know, like oh, it's, thanks, it's nice mate. to see you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just don't ask me to look for demo guys anymore. He he surprised me. I have to say, I enjoyed talking to him. It was just his voice was so unique. And then I'm finding out, I was like, wait, all of this was just you? I was just like, oh my God. I was like, where did you reach to bring out Mr. Moon? Like, oh I my know. gosh. Yeah. <laughs> he, he just seemed a bit sort of worn out. You know, it was like a, a worn out caretaker who, um, yeah. Who uh, sort of lost the lust for uh, caretaking, <laughs> bro? Oh my gosh! Oh, uh, let's do some um, rapid fire ones, oh, right? Yeah. Quick, yeah. Uh, so we want to hold you up because I can literally talk about this game for ages. So, <laughs> first, uh, what is your Hogwarts house as a Hogwarts uh, legacy and obviously Harry Potter fan? What is Let your Hogwarts house? Gryffindor. No way. Yeah, I'm a oh Gryffindor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I think I uh, could easily be a Slytherin, but a, a Gryffindor. Yeah. Okay, okay. So my wife says, uh, I'm a Hufflepuff, as you Hufflepuff. can see the shirt. Yes. Um, but my wife says I'm a Slytherin because of my ambition. Oh, so I was yes, like, okay. Yes. I, I think we got I, a crossover there. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. I, I, I can see that. Yes. I was like, if we did a percentage, I could see some percentage being in Slytherin. So mm -hmm. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we have your house. What about, what is your Patronus? Do you know? Um. I haven't worked that out officially yet, but I would okay. I would say for me it would probably be something like um a a dog, a German shepherd or a golden retriever. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Very okay. very faithful, uh yeah. very protective, loyal. Oh, I love that. Yes. 
Yeah. You know, loyalty is the Hufflepuff trait, by the way. Though. Yes, just, I know. Just I, know. I could have gone any way. <laughs> what a fine wire. <laughs> I'm saying, with all the voice acting and portrayals you did in the game, I'm, I, I'm just like, you are the sorting hat. Like, you're just every, all the houses. Let's just say you're all the houses. Like, yes, oh my it probably God. is. All, all, in, all in one. Yeah. <laughs> all in one. one. Yeah. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um. Ooh, okay. We're talking about the Harry Potter TV series. Yes. What is your favorite book from the Harry Potter? Um, I I would say the Philosopher's Stone first one. Ju- really? Yeah, just because I I think there were such little expectations at that stage, so this mm. world was being painted mm. as you. It was the 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 best sort of page turner. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I know they're all great, of course, but oh I, yeah, I think for that sure. First yeah, one, yeah. It was a little bit like me with with Star Wars and A New Hope. It's that okay, first okay. one where you hadn't seen anything, you hadn't read okay. anything, so the experience just sort of unfolded. It, it sticks with you, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So yeah. I would assume that's uh, that would be your answer for the movie then as well. I think so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Beautiful, lovely. There's, it's I. It's a Christmas movie. It's a Christmas movie. I'm yes. just going to say. It. Yes, yes say it. it's, a, it's a Christmas movie. Yeah, it's so magical. Oh, man. I know there's gorgeous. different. I mean, we do have Halloween when the troll attacks and stuff, and like we have various holidays, but like yeah. it's a Christmas movie. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's just you sit down by the fire, you pop in Harry Potter, you know, get some butter beer and just watch it. I like, think if you ask like, anyone what what time of year would you like to visit Hogwarts, I think everyone's going to say December. Just get yep. me out there, winter, December, yep. snow, Facts. everything. Facts. Perfect. Just to see the big tree in the Great Hall, which they oh, did in the God. game. Oh, my gosh. I had to create like three or four. No, I no more than four. But I created uh, different save files for each season just so I can go back in real life during that season and kind of feel like I'm being lived in. Yeah. So during the, you know, the fall, you got the pumpkins and everything everywhere. So yes. I was like, once it starts getting cold football season a little bit, I'm going to start that save file, play that. Yep. And then once it gets winter and stuff, I'll go in the Chris, like, yes, it's, they, they nailed the seasons. They, yes. they nailed all Huge. that. Uh, Can you imagine the work? Is. Can you imagine the work in that Chris? I couldn't, oh my gosh. Just the I can't even imagine thing. just the care, just so much. Oh, so I, I have trouble decorating my five foot Christmas tree. I mean, <laughs> there would, I think there would be a lot of uh, Leviosas, probably. Yes, probably I a lot of Leviosas. So, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Swish and flick. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, <clears throat> continue going. Rapid fire. Yeah. Uh, who? Ooh, do you have a favorite Harry Potter character? Mine's is Sirius Black or Newt's Commander. Those two are like my. Favorite oh, ones. Uh, w- without a doubt, for me, Snape. For two, really? yeah, for two reasons because his okay. character arc is insane. It's through, insane. Through Alan Rickman. Films. Oh and, my gosh. And and then Alan Rickman's performance. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well said. Well said. Oh my gosh. I That's mean, I one. I've watched all the films fairly recently again, um, mm-hmm. and I, every time you are waiting on every breath, every syllable coming out of Alan Rickman's mouth, he's. God rest yeah. his soul. My God, took from us way too soon. But his too performance soon. in that is, it gives me goosebumps just talking about it. But I love yeah. Snape's character arc. I mean, wow. What a, yeah. you know, what a blind side. It's like, I heard. I don't know if anyone saw that coming. But no, he knew, apparently. He knew. I guess JK yes. told him. Yes. But he was the only actor or person on set yep. who knew about it. Yep. But it's man. as big it's as big as Luke, I am your father. Yeah. Oh, right? for sure. Never for saw sure. that coming. And for sure. The Snape thing was like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. oh. It makes and it made sense. Yes. It made I sense. I know. I know. I know. How oh. brilliant. Oh my gosh. Hats so off. good. Hats off. Yeah. That is- um, I another one of his performances. I he's done so many movies, but yeah. um, I want to say Robin Hood, Prince of Oh Kings, gosh, Kevin Man. Costner, Morgan Freeman. Oh, my- he was so good as the Sheriff of Nottingham. Oh my gosh, so good. Yeah, he had that slow delivery and pace with it. When yes. He, yeah. People, if you have not seen it, go back watch it. 
I mean, just for Alan Rickman. Yes. Everybody's great in it. Yes. But just for Alan Rickman. Yes. He's and so you'll good. you'll see where he got some inspiration yes. for Snake. Yes, exactly. Yep. Exactly. A lot of people don't yep. talk about that. But no, I'm glad yes. you did, because that that's that's <laughs> even make even makes me want to go and watch that film again because it was I know so I might good. I might pop it in now after I know I'm gonna go this. see where where can I stream it? Come on. <laughs> Uh, okay, good to you on. Uh, let me see. Um, okay, okay. Have you played any of the OG uh, Harry Potter games? I haven't yet. No. Have you... I, I, okay. Funny enough, I did a voice for Wizards Unite. Um, what? Yeah, I played Ron Weasley. Bloody hell, Harry. No. Um, I played I'm Ron Weasley in Wizards I'm, Unite. I'm um, about to cry. Yeah. So, uh, but I never, I never played it. Somebody sent me a very scary clip of Peeves from the PlayStation <laughs> One game. <Yeah. laughs> wow, have oh. we come a long way in in uh, in uh, yeah. animation from um, that? One. Yeah, that, um, that was very. But at least he, at least he got he got a shout mm -hmm. out way way back yeah. then. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. Not in the uh, movies, but at least no. in the game. Yeah, in the game he did. So, um, yeah. Wizards Unite is yes. why my wife and I started the channel. Oh, is it really? That, yes. Wow. Um, I, I had I've been able to work uh, with WB Games and uh, Niantic on that property, uh, even up to when uh, it eventually ended. Uh, wow. We were covering it since 2018. The game came out in 2019. Wow. Um, just the AR features, the storytelling in between, like. Yeah, all, the I, it's, reality, wasn't yes, it? Like, it wow. the immersion was yeah. all there right in your phone and stuff. And so I didn't know you worked on yeah, that. Oh, yeah. A lot of yeah. people in my community are going to appreciate that. Yeah. I know I am just yeah. because there's a fondness for that game. Yeah. Uh, and it was, again, us. it was a, a game that, uh, uh, you know, it was fairly unprecedented having this yeah. augmented reality. Yeah. Um, yeah. Pokemon so Go was the first big thing and this yes. was their right. next swing into yeah. it utilizing the wizarding world which yeah. made a ton of sense so yeah, totally oh my yeah. gosh thank you for being a part of that i love that game oh yeah. my gosh yeah that's awesome um all right round it off we got four more questions okay yeah. um spell favorite oh, spell yeah. to use in hogwarts legacy uh or favorite Lumos. spell overall? Lumos. Probably. Lumos, okay. <laughs> and, and I say that, I say that as well, because I use it on my phone all the time. I'm always <laughs> losing things in the dark. <laughs> so I'm Lumosing all the time. Bro, so, when I found out you could do that on your phone, I, know. I was just like, mind I was like, blown. This is why I have a phone. <laughs> This is my wand. So I can this see things. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you have a uh, fantastic beast uh, you're fond of, whether in the game or uh, in the movies that you um, noticed? I, I, you know, I'd, I'd love to fly on the back of a hippogriff, I think. Uh, who Great wouldn't? answer. I mean, what a beautiful. <laughs> Great creature. answer. What a majestic creature. So majestic. Uh. How, how, and they nailed that <laughs> like, i know yeah i, I teared up uh because destral is my uh patronus oh, and wow. so like when we when you do the rescue mission with not and hogwarts legacy yeah um you're riding on high wing first That's obviously right. yeah uh but then you unlock the flying beast feature or flying mount so yeah. i switched to Thestral immediately right. and for 20 minutes i was just like sobbing because it's yeah. just so majestic so Ugh. just graceful just any adjective you want to use like yeah. it's just yeah it was just it was just amazing and again so. i think the combination of getting that flight and mm -hmm. the sound so realistic mm -hmm. and then of course with that landscape now yes 200 feet up oh yes boy. like you just flying and you just see Hogwarts in the background, like and the train it's right there. The train it, yes, the you, express. You time it every now and then, and you'd see the <laughs> yeah. train, and you're like, oh, okay. See the smoke coming out. I'm, I'm, not, like, I'm not crying. It's just grit. <laughs> it's just I got I got grit in my eyes. allergies. It's allergy season. <laughs> yeah. It's allergy season. Oh my gosh. Oh, I thought yeah. I so I got to play the game again tonight and watch uh, Robin Hood tonight. Oh my gosh. Yes. Um, <laughs> do you have a professor you uh, most enjoyed interacting with? in the game 
at all or i'm a little just... bit biased um <laughs> I yes, I um, know. <laughs> yes I, I mean bin you know again as boring as bins is in these classes he was very popular as bins yeah um, yeah so yeah. um but i i mean uh i think phineas nigelis black is is a yeah. mm. oh, shout out to uh simon pegg yeah uh, simon pegg yeah with him um <laughs> it's uh what a what a, a great character perfect headmaster as well yeah you know again for that time period and everything mm -hmm. without you know again without stepping on the toes of, of dumbledore or, or exactly. any, any crop over it was so different yep and, and being a yep. core part of the black family i just thought was oh my gosh yes yeah. that history alone man one yeah. of the uh shoot and that's, that's another great one. one i know we shouted out henry cavill before but but uh, I've been lucky enough to work with Simon Pegg a couple of times. And okay. he's just another fantastic nerd. Human being. Yeah, yeah. just owns it <laughs> and lets everyone know that he's a fan of these things as well. Um, and I love him for it. Absolutely. I'm so jealous because he was not only in Star Trek as Scotty. Yes. But he also was in Star Wars. Yes. Uh, in uh the first in seven, episode seven. Yes. When he was the big dude who was um he was like creating stuff with Ray. Yes, that's yeah, right. Yeah, that's yes, right. yes, 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 yes. Yeah. And so I'm just like, bro, those are like the two top like sci-fi fantasy I, like IPs. And bro. he had to do a Scottish accent to get into <laughs> we uh, Star Trek, you know. Yes, yes, a really Scotty. Well. Yeah. I, yeah. I, oh, he nailed it. I know. He nailed it. I know. Interestingly, oh. I've just auditioned for him um to, for the video game version so we'll see if that material oh, all yeah. right we'll, just, we'll, we'll try to send you some liquid yeah. luck and hopefully uh you'll get in there for sure yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's but, awesome yep so uh oh. yeah good, good cross we've actually got three crossovers i was in star trek uh mm -hmm. the discovery um i played oh, a wow. ship yeah i played a ship computer in a stealth ship computer voice in star trek discovery um Great simon show. and i are in hogwarts legacy and then we did both did an animation together i was a christmas tree uh, it's called piney the lonesome pine i'm a christmas <laughs> tree and simon pegs my best friend a dog all um, right i'm writing all this down yeah i gotta look at these now <laughs> yeah you've got to check out piney the lonesome pine that's, okay that's me and simon pegg uh yeah no way. and we sing we sing together and oh my gosh i think i think we pulled it off i'm not sure <laughs> I'm sure you did. Don't, I'm sure you did. Don't let the singing put you off. <laughs> I just want to hear you. That's all. Um, okay. Last two. Last two. Yes. I swear. Um, first, um, what would you do? Yes. If you had ancient magic for 24 hours, what would you do? Yeah, that is a great question. I I know the downside of using that ancient magic. So I, I would probably have to... I would like to work out a way where I could take people's pain away, but without the side effects. Mm, I love that. I love that. So That's I think, I, yeah, I'm I would think I would go to potions class a little bit more and work on it yeah. more so that I could take people's pain away and not mm. have, uh, and not have the side effects. Yeah. Love that. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, last one, uh, Seb, Natty or Poppy. Uh, who's your favorite? I think I think it's got to be my boy Seb. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's got to be Seb. That's, that is the popular answer. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I remember <laughs> when when we found um, uh, Alfie Nugent, the voice mm -hmm, actor. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Alfie. Alfie. Yeah, shout out to yep. Alfie. And I uh, I remember uh, hearing a few sessions and stuff. And then you you never know with a game who these sort of breakout popular characters are going to be. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, he's broken a lot of hearts as our sebastian a lot but that that was why he was so popular because yeah. he was so polarizing yes like there was a lot of people like yo let's send him to ask him <laughs> like, <he's never laughs> this. like what is he doing but others you just kind of felt bad because of his upbringing and he just cared so much for his twin sister and so yeah. uh I, that's a credit to the writing and yeah. then obviously the direction and uh, eventual portrayal by Alfie of Seb and just that whole side quest. I think 
that and the uh, Haunted Hogsmeade ones are the two best side quests in the game. Oh my god, the Haunted Hogsmeade. <gasps> yes. Wow, bro. that got dark. I was bro. That was you could tell they had scary. fun that one. <laughs> Whoa, I know, I know. Yes. Uh, I was like, that... it didn't even feel like the same game. <sighs> I couldn't do it. I, I, we, we got. <laughs> I think I watched. I ended up watching a playthrough in the end because for mm-hmm, me to mm-hmm. play, I was just too jittery. I was <laughs> the remote going. Oh, that was so scary. What a which is coming out to uh, other consoles. It was a PlayStation exclusive. That's right. But by this summer, it oh, will be it? out to. The, oh, uh, yeah, it's going to be out on the Xbox. Got and everything. to get that. That is yes. That's a game in itself. That is listen a game to him. In listen to him. You're yeah. gonna enjoy it. Yes, yes. <laughs> if you can stomach it. If you if can stomach, you can it. stomach <laughs> it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> well, that being said, I'm not gonna hold you up too much longer. Uh, no Jason. worries. Uh, they, this has been amazing. We we kind of went off topic with talking to fans yes. and stuff, but yeah. hey, I mean, we're all nerds and yes. we all are passionate about what we're passionate about. So yes, exactly. And <laughs> I'm so so, much fun. so grateful to chat with you, and I, I love your passion, and I, you know, just so grateful for people like yourself that are putting just such positive, wonderful content out there. Mm. You know, I think if any, if if we live in a period of time now where we need pleasant uplifting distractions Facts. yeah My gosh it's now yeah. you know yeah. so well uh, you know i really credit you and you and this takes a lot of time i hope you know people realize the time and dedication um yeah. you know especially holding down other things you know family yeah. partners life, yep. life yep. you know so i i really thank you for for doing this Thank you for saying that. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Um, where can people find you and uh, hear all the voices and see where yeah. you're going in yep. the future? Yeah, the, I'm, I hang out on TikTok. Uh, so it's the Jason Anthony on TikTok. That's my my, my biggest kind of flex. Uh, but, I, but I am. You will find me on, on Instagram. Um, you will find me on, on X, but I don't do anything on X. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I would say number one, protocol is, is on tiktok yeah again thank you to uh jason and keith who i was uh, interacting yes. with and everything yep. thanks for setting yep. this up uh, again thank you to wb games and avalanche software for all the opportunities i had for this game and man uh looking forward to seeing what's to come not only from this game but with you jason and i hope you have a great rest of your week and uh, I can't wait to edit this and share this with the community. <laughs> well, just, just to to put a nice little button on the end of this, I hope okay. we all continue to live the unwritten. <laughs>